Hey guys, I'm James. This is Jackson. Hey guys. And this is Chloe Rose. Hey guys. And we are Cooking Jackson Rose. <laughs> Started going in his younger years Always wished it would be his life Memories back to when he was a child Sleeping under starfield skies So what or who is a Jackson Rose? Well by now you've probably figured out that's going to be the name of our boat. Uh, we wanted the name to mean something and nothing means more to me than uh, these guys. So uh, Jackson being the name of my son and Chloe Rose being the name of my daughter, we felt Jackson Rose was the perfect name. So it's going to be the name of our boat, the name of our channel. Uh, so just look up Cruising Jackson Rose and follow us and see what we do. So how did this whole idea come around? <laughs> well, Basically, I've been a camper most of my life. Um, when we had the kids 11 years ago, I bought a 35-foot uh, RV trailer. And we did a lot of camping. And we always wanted waterfront sites because the kids were always in the water. And uh, what happened was it was harder to get waterfront sites. The kids would spend all day in the water, um, and then you run them back and forth to the trailer for bathroom breaks, snacks, and, and, and beer, and whatnot. So. So we kind of thought, you know, maybe we should look at something a little bit different. So I started looking around at boats and <laughs> we thought that solved a lot of the problems. You know, you know, you'd always have a waterfront site. The kids would always be in the water and have access to the boat. So I'd check out these boats and then I'd go to YouTube and I would uh, look for videos of the interiors of these boats and performance and things like that. And what I kind of found was there was a lot of people doing video blogs of their boating experience. And uh, I found that really interesting and I started watching a few. And what I noticed was there was very little powerboat content. Like I'm talking maybe three or four channels. And most of the people that were doing it were sailors and they were in the Caribbean. So next to no Canadian content. Uh, there were a few Canadians doing it, but again, they were in sailboats and down in the Caribbean. Uh, any Canadian content you did see, it would be, you know, Lake Ontario or the St. Lawrence and them going down those places, uh, you know, on their way to the Caribbean. So, I started thinking, well, you know, there is something we could maybe screw around with. You know, my kids, they're always on YouTube, they're, you know, always on their tablets and things like that. and and I catch Chloe uh, more than anyone, you know, pretending to be on YouTube. So I thought this day and age when everyone is on their tablets and on their video games and stuff, I thought, you know what, this might be a cool, fun project to do as a family. You know, taking their interest in the YouTube and stuff and the videos and, and uh, my interest in uh, boating and, and exploring and traveling a little bit. I thought it would be a great family project to kind of do something together, um, expose the kids to different, uh, different things that, you know, they might take something away from it. You know, they may want to go into a career in, in TV and film production or tourism or who knows. So that's kind of what we looked at and, and I kind of thought that might be an idea. Um, when we looked at buying boats, they're ridiculously expensive. It's amazing. Um, so we didn't have a lot of money. We're not rich. You know, we work. 
So what happened was we could only afford, you know, we didn't want an older, bigger boat um, that we'd have to do some fixing up and stuff because I'm not really that great at that. I, I don't mind dabbling in it, but I'm really not qualified to do any serious stuff. So we wanted a, a newer boat that wouldn't require a ton of work. And what that did price point wise was it kind of put us in the 27 to 30 foot uh, range. And what I thought with that was, again, if we were going to do some sort of YouTube thing, the niche there would be, you know, because our boat is small enough to trailer, we can now take it to some of these smaller waterways that the bigger boats can't get into and really showcase uh, some lesser known Canadian waterways or Ontario waterways and Ontario towns uh, and things like that. So, so we kind of thought, you know what, let's try this. This might be a fun, this might be a fun project just to uh, get the family together and spend a lot of quality time making a lot of memories and having fun together. Uh, we have no idea what we're doing. I, we have no idea how to boat. The videos will show that. And uh, we certainly have no idea how to make any of these videos. So, uh, if anything, you might get a kick out of uh, watching us blunder and, and screw up. Um, but we're going to try and do uh, learn from it. We're going to try and get a little better each time and uh, just have a good time. So that's what, that's what it's all about. Just having a good time with, uh, with the kids and uh, exploring uh, our own backyard, so to speak. So... Uh, if you like it, if you're interested, uh, you know, just like and subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, we're hoping to kind of showcase a little bit of uh, what a boating experience can be when you don't have a lot of money and you don't have grand designs on going to the Caribbean. Uh, you just want to tour your own backyard in Ontario. And uh, yeah, follow us, see what we get up to, and uh, maybe you can give us some help along the way. So here's our setup here. Um, you know this truck's gonna have more than enough to pull this boat it is my second Dodge Cummins uh, I love them they've never had a problem with them this is a 2017 uh, Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins Laramie off-road uh, sport real nice truck let's take a quick look with the uh, setup on this it's got 350 horsepower 660 pound-feet of torque which is more than enough power and the ability to add a lot more to it this is Miss Rose in her in her truck. So as I said, it's Laramie, so it's all leather interior, which is great for having kids like Chloe who constantly spills everywhere. Um, it also has heated and cooled seats, which is really, really good. It's got, I don't know if you can see it there, but right here it's got the uh, trailer brake controller already built in manual transmission and what i really love is it's got an exhaust brake on this truck so it really helps uh pulling it's perfect for pulling when you're uh, coming down a hill or slowing down all you got to do is gear down first the truck will slow itself and then the exhaust brake comes on and that slows it even more and that way you're not burning up your brakes or the uh, the boat trailer brakes uh, so it really just extends the life of everything and of course being a diesel uh, the fuel economy is awesome and the power is awesome as well so uh, lots of room up there in the back nothing too crazy lots of room for the kids what I did like is these little compartments here this comes out um, for long trips put drinks and ice in there and the kids are happy and as I said it's more than enough power to pull this beast this is what I find when I'm opening up my swim platform ladder. A huge toad. Now tell me, how the hell does a toad get on a swim platform that's that high off the ground? That is crazy to me. What is to you? Jackson's got this under control. Maybe it's a frog. So here's the boat. It is a 1998 Chaparral Signature 300. So that means it's 30 feet long, 10 and a half feet wide. Let's go take a look. 
So on the back here you see the swimming ladder attached to the extended swim platform which makes a lot of difference when you look at where the old original swim platform ended. Gives you a lot more room. We'll go board over here. You got uh, twin 5.0 Mercs which need a little bit of touch up. So you got your fenders here and then in here you have some storage for your electrical cords and things like that. Over here you have a uh, room for your barbecue and on this swim platform you could even sit uh, a lawn chair or two. Here you've got a pull out shower coming into the cockpit here. You have a refreshment station with a pull out uh, faucet as well. And then here's a bit of a cooler. Cup holders as well. Here you have more storage. We're thinking of turning that into a fridge. Here you're supposed to be putting a cooler. Over here now you have a U-shaped lounge area where Miss Chloe Rose is playing her phone. Up here you have a forward lounge with storage under it. You've got the uh, foredeck, which will have a sun pad and we'll be spending a lot of time up there. You got your helm with all your electronics. You've got dual captain chairs with storage under there. And then back here, uh, you can see there's room for pedestals to put table in so you could eat back here. Uh, there's also pedestals where you can turn this whole lounge into a sun pad. Underneath where the pedestals go, that's the uh, engine bay. Lots of room under there for our generator, our uh, dinghy, and so on. Let's go inside to the cabin. <coughs> As you come into the cabin, we see Jackson's at the table on his phone. You've got a forward berth. It's about somewhere between a double and a queen but I really like how much room that gives you. You've got storage here for your clothes, storage here in these drawers for your clothes as well. You have storage up here, storage down there, nice sink, a nice larger Corian countertop with a cooktop stove. Down here you got the little fridge that I talked about, that's why we'll have the other one up top more storage here. We move around under Jackson's butt there's storage in that seat. This is one of the main features of why we bought this boat is this table can be lowered into a bed and as the kids get older they'll need separate sleeping spaces of course. Storage under there. Here we have the head. Head's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's all fiberglass in, so it's a shower, bathroom all in one. You have this comes out, and that's your shower nozzle as well. And then the kids' room is under the stairs. They are the kids under the stairs. And if I get you back in here, there's quite a bit of room here. This is easily a double bed. Uh, it can be made up into uh, a dinette uh, with a table, but the height wise it's pretty short. So we've decided we're just gonna leave it as the kid's bedroom. They like it because there's lots of room in there to lounge and uh, play their games, play on their tablets, whatever. And when you do leave it as a bed, you get to keep all the storage that's underneath there. And then you've got storage locker here as well as the storage locker up there, stereo, air conditioning. So again, I'll go up to the front and give you guys a bit of a view. There's a fair bit of room in this uh, 30 foot boat. And we'll go back up top. So as you can see, lots of room in this boat, uh, at least for the three of us and potentially four and uh, we can't wait to get it out. Hey guys, if I make this shot, you guys have to like, subscribe, and comment. Remember to hit that bell. Yeah. I have to do it! Remember, like, 
comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check us on Instagram and Facebook. Goodbye.